do, do, do. Pour myself a beer on this blue Monday. All right. Oh, hey there. Hey, didn't notice ya. Just kidding. Camera's hanging off my fridge. I noticed it. Um, that being said, today is Blue Monday. And boy, did I ever feel it at work today. Just a crappy day at work. Nothing better to come home and sip on a homebrew Mexican cerveza. Parents gave it to me. No idea what it is, but it's good. It's not bad. Um, what's on the topic today? I just wanted to do a vlog. I was going to do one on the way home, but it was super busy and people have been like, that guy's talking to himself. And it's, or, or a video call or something, you know, cop would have seen me, I would have been pulled over. So I chose that would be better to uh, do my vlog when I got home today. So here I am, Blue Monday, poured myself a Blue Monday brew. Um, don't let, don't let a crappy Monday um, determine the rest of your day. And I'm, I'm not going to, so no need for you to as well. Two things I want to talk about today. First thing, yesterday, last night, about 10 a.m., or sorry, 10 p.m., laying in bed, couldn't sleep, turned my phone on, and one of the first things that pops on my phone is the uh, RS, Ford Focus RS, um, worldwide engine failure recognition from Ford. So, from what I can read, their response to that is that uh, they recognize the problem. This was in this was UK. This was a UK written article, so I'm hoping that it's legit, and I'm hoping that we get it here in North America, Canada, and US. Um, I have a, have a few buddies I know of having engine problems or or starting to have engine problems anyway. So let's cross our fingers. That's really something that could uh, you know shed some light on this Blue Monday. Um, today is supposed to be the worst Monday of the year, the most depressing Monday of the year. Um, so for our us, our RS owners, you know, it sheds some light on our on our situation with the possibility of the engines going. Um, so Ford worldwide, from my understanding, recognizes the problem, even though the article was written in uh, man, this camera is not liking that light, is it? All right, switch spots. Went from the fridge to the shelf. Piper! Wiener dogs. Anyway, so what I was saying is I hope that it comes to North America, the uh, RS recalls. That would be awesome. So no matter what happens, the car will be, all of our cars will be fixed if you lie between um, before July 2017 build. But more on that in the future because I can't even find the article anymore. But it uh, it was exciting and it looked legit. So let's let's hope. Um, topic number two for the day. I started a YouTube page, jumped on the bandwagon. Thought I would be you know the uh, just like the rest of the YouTubers out there. Just a page for automotive support, automotive chit chat, banter, you name it. Uh, maybe even anyone who wants to sell stuff, they can throw it on the page. But what I'm trying to get at is all my subscribers. It would be awesome if you could go on Facebook, type in Canadian GT, the way it shows up on YouTube, no spaces, no caps locks, not that that really matters. And give the page a like and a follow. And uh, maybe go through a couple of posts and post what... I think there was a post asking, you know, like what you drive and and all that that I did a couple days ago. So, you know, just involve yourself in the community. That would be awesome. And um, it'd be it'd be nice to, you know, put some faces to some of my subscribers. I'm a personable kind of guy, so I, I like to uh, I like to know people and um, have a more of a relationship than just uh, you know, oh you you follow me, you like me type of thing. So. Um, oh, this camera's killing me. The focus on it. Okay, anyway. Uh, one of the guys, the guy who came and bought, the, I don't know if I said to this to you guys, but one of the guys who came up to the, uh, and bought the red six-speed Supra, Andrews, my best friend, he's like, yeah, my buddy's been 
watching this video, this car on YouTube and stuff. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, this guy's full of it type of thing, eh? And I didn't even think that it was me. But he shows me the video and it's me and the car in my garage or, or Andrew's garage. I can't remember. But it's just funny because it was, it was me. <laughs> so he was surprised and I was surprised. But it's kind of cool how, uh, how his buddy was showing him the video of the Red Supra. And I had no idea that that video would get that far. It was down south somewhere in the States. So very cool. YouTube's awesome. So uh, I hope everyone has a great rest of their Monday. If you haven't been having a good first part of your Monday, um, don't let it get you down. Keep on pushing through. And as always, I hope you like and subscribe. All right. Peace.